Ladies, 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 cool guy designs is in the hizzles! What's going on everyone? Today we're going to learn how to build the Girl Skateboards logo in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to do this mostly from scratch. We're going to use this as a reference, but we're going to, this is a beginner friendly tool, so we're going to learn how to break this logo down to its most basic shapes like you see here. And then we're going to learn how to use the align tools, the pathfinder tools, and the shape builder tool in order to build this final logo. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to file new to start a new file change this to girl logo. For the width and the height I'm going to choose 800 pixels. You can change the increments here. And for the color mode I'm going to choose RGB. This would work with CMYK but I'm going to choose RGB. Okay so you should have your artboard looking like this. Um, if your tools don't look the same just go to window, go to workspace and essentials classic I'm just going to reset my tools just so uh, you should be able to see this exactly. So I'm not throwing you any curveballs or anything. Okay, and now I am going to bring this logo in as a reference. And if you're thinking that's not fair, um, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna you're going to use it as a reference too. So go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Um, I'll give you a couple of seconds to do it. I didn't really have to pause, but I hope you found it pleasant. Okay, so now that you've taken a screenshot, you can just pull it over to the side here. And we're just going to use this. Uh, I'm going to change uh, the colors a little bit just so I can see it a bit better. Change it to white. And this is still a stroke, so I'm going to change it to white. Okay. So, um, yeah, now we can just start um, just kind of tracing this shape by shape and bring it over to our artboard. So I'm just going to choose some different colors here in the swatches panel. I just make the stroke none and going to the fill I'm going to make it this pink color. Cool. Okay now let's start building this shape by shape. So first we're just going to start with the easy one. Let's build this circle. You can go to the ellipse tool and you can hit just hit L on your keyboard as well. And now we're just going to pull a perfect circle. So the way you do that is just click and drag and hold shift and that will make a perfect circle. And you can also hold spacebar to kind of move it around uh, to help you know align your shape a little bit better. So I'm going to do mine about here. I guess I could get it a little bit further here. That looks pretty close. And now we just want to bring that into the center of this artboard. So we're going to use the Align panel for that. You can find the Align panel here. If you don't see it, you can go to Window Align. Okay, clicking this drop down, I want to align to Artboard. And now I want to go to this one, Align Horizontal Center. And that's going to bring it over to the center of the Artboard. Uh, we don't want to hit this center. We don't want to hit Vertical Center because it's going to bring it down. We want to keep this in the same position. So let's just do the horizontal center. Okay, and now I think the other easiest shapes would be these legs. So let's go to the rectangle tool and let's just draw roughly what these legs are going to be. That looks good. Now go to the selection tool and we can copy this leg over here. If we hold the option key with it selected you can see this like double arrow icon come up. Click and drag and you can hold shift to keep that from moving up or down. And that looks pretty good. We'll just keep it there. And now we want to pull both of these legs into the center of this artboard. So the way we're going to do that, if we just click them both and hit center, they're going to center together. So we want to group these first. So go to, with them both selected, go to object, and group. You can also hit Command G. And now that they're grouped, we can hit Align Horizontal Center, and they're, they're, they're centered, but they're still separated. Okay. Moving on, this triangle here is probably going to be the next easiest shape. So let's go to the Polygon tool here. And if you click and drag, you might, you can hold Shift 
but you might see like six sides like this. If you just hit down on your uh, arrow keys, you can add or you can up or down adds or subtracts. But if you hit down all the way, it will go to a triangle. So let's just pull that. We can pull that roughly the width of like the dress down here. I'm just going to leave that there. And now we can just use the selection tool to stretch this side up. It's going to go into the head a little bit. Go a little bit more. That looks pretty good. And just the same way, this looks fine. We're just going to hit align horizontal center. We're going to see that go here. And now we're going to create an upside down triangle to make this shape. So again, go to the polygon tool. Let's just click and drag a triangle. We're not going to make sure it's a perfect uh, triangle by holding shift, but we're just going to rotate this. So if you go to the outside edges, these corners, you can see that corner icon show up. Once you see it show up, you can click and rotate it around and just hold shift and it will go in increments of 45. So let's go all the way around to 180, just like that. And now let's go to the selection tool. And we're just going to again kind of match the shape of this triangle. Might take a second, just kind of work with it. Getting better. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So again, we're just going to hit a line horizontal center. <laughs> Leaves a little unfortunate uh, piece there gender wise, but we'll fix that later. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the uh, kind of both of these arms. That seems to be the next easiest shape. So again, uh, just click this drop down, go to the rectangle tool. You can hit M on your keyboard. And I'm just going to click and drag. So I'm kind of getting close to the width of this. And yeah, just like we did the triangle, just click and rotate this, but don't hold shift because we're not going in increments of 45, 17, four looks close. Oops. Go to the selection tool so we can move it. Don't draw another square like I did. Uh, that looks pretty nice, actually. Um, even though there's a little sliver here, I'm going to keep it. I'd rather have the sliver on the inside of this shape than the outside. So pulling it like that, you'll have that little sliver. I'm just going to pull it just in like that. Okay, and now we want to create the exact same arm, but the, at the opposite angle. So the way we're going to do that is just with this shape selected, go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Pull this to the side. And yeah, if you, if, if you have your preview on, you want to go to the vertical center, or the vertical axis, sorry and then hit copy instead of OK. And that's going to copy that shape over. And now we can move that shape over to this side. Again, keeping that little sliver on the inside of it. Zoom in and get it a little bit closer than that. About right there looks good. And we'll do the same here. Just get it as close as we can. That looks good. Okay, and yeah, the same. We're going to group these and pull them over here. So just highlight both of them. Hit Object, Group. And let's hit Align Horizontal Center. It's going to bring them over there. And yeah, we're, we're on to the final shapes. This, I think, is the hardest shape to do, but we're going to make it pretty easy. So just go to the square, or the rectangle tool, sorry. And we're just going to pull a square over these shoulders and kind of over those arms. Let's get it about like this. And yeah, pull that down. And now you can see these like edge, these little circular icons inside of these edges. If you click and pull it in, that's going to round those corners. And just round it till it kind of meets that white shape, till it kind of covers it. I'm going to do it about here. So yeah, 38.65 is where I'm at on that radius. And then I'm just going to, just the same, just pull that 
into the other artboard by hitting align horizontal center. And uh, we're going to make this final shape last. So let's just uh, go over to the artboard now. We're going to start doing the fun part of the tutorial, which is combining all of these shapes to make sense. Now, it's definitely not a girl logo at the moment, but we're going to fix that. So let's highlight everything. Let's change this stroke to a, I mean, let's change that fill to a stroke. Now we can see all of our shapes. And still with everything highlighted here, let's go to the Shape Builder tool. You can hit Shift M on your keyboard. If you hit that and go over, you should see like kind of the uh, the interface change to where you can, these like little dotted outlines come. That's to combine shapes, but we want to take away shapes. So we're going to get rid of all the shapes that we don't need. So if you hold minus, I mean, if you hold option or alt, you'll see this minus icon. And now we can take away shapes that we see. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. This is, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so now it's a girl again. And you can just hit these shapes. Oops, I want to just take away these lines. You can always just hit uh, Command Z to undo something if you uh, take away something you don't want to. Let's take away these shapes in here. Oops, take away those lines. We want to keep this outside triangle, so yeah, let's just get rid of these lines. My cat's saying hello. Get rid of those lines, make this all one shape. Get rid of those. Get rid of these in here. Yeah, the bottom of the head uh, doesn't have like a neck, so let's get rid of all those shapes. Get rid of all these. And that's pretty much it. Let's uh, go ahead and with the let go of the option so you see the plus. All that's one shape now. Hit all that into one shape. And yeah, now we can go to the selection tool. We can swap this uh, stroke back to a fill, and there we go. That is the full logo. You can um, highlight everything and hit Pathfinder again. That's just going to make it all one shape, or you can just group it either way. And that's uh, essentially the uh, the hard part. Let's go ahead and make this uh, outside stroke real quick. So the way we're going to do that, just hit the rectangle tool. We're just going to draw outside of all of this white area. We're going to try to get it pretty close. Let's switch it so we can see it a little better. Pretty close to like just the outside edges of this shape. Let's just go around here. That looks good. And yeah, just kind of the same round corner trick. We're just going to pull those in to about there. And now let's up this stroke. So hit this panel. We're going to align stroke to the inside instead of the center. And then just keep pumping that up until it kind of covers. 27 pixels is where, is where mine is at. Is where mine's at. Um, and then, yeah, can just align that to the center. And that's the full girl logo. Um, you can expand all this now. I'll just go to highlight everything object expand appearance and then object expand and that's now all these shapes um yeah have like clean vectors and you can uh, pretty much take them onto anything now and they'll appear at these same proportions um so there you go yeah i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial uh, let me know any other tutorials you'd like to see any other logos or things you'd like me to explain uh, specifically about any adobe products but i can do some other stuff too um and yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, make some logos. Uh, yeah, have fun in Illustrator. It's not so hard. Thanks. Bye.